Приветствую всех в этом видео. Вы увидите финал между Францией и Японией на чемпионате мира в Душенбе по юниорам. Приятного просмотра. The newly crowned world champion. Left against right. Ukkorn left handed. And made up right handed. And it often more suits the left hander. They're slightly better at fighting lefties than the other way around only because of the amount that they train with. They train with more right-handers than the right-handers train with lefties. It's about a 70-30 split. Oh, look at that lovely Ochigari there from Maeda. Passivity. Big arm over the back. Makikomi effort, and she scores as well. Is it a nippon? Yes, it is. Well, he was standing right on top of it. Velimati Karin Kanter. He liked the landing. So the uh, commission adds a look. Just to see about the landing there. Yeah, it went straight onto the back, didn't it, there? I mean, I could understand why they would give it a Wazari, and I can understand why if they would give it a Nippon. And I know that's um, sitting on the fence a little bit, but uh, yes. So they have given it because it was continuous move. How about a Kome? What a job he's got on his hands here. Chernyshenko in the white, as we know, the color about it in blue. Straight into the attack there, looking for the Sangaku, looking Ooh. for the Juji Gatami. <laughs> and he's got the uh, possible, he's not hooked in. He isn't hooked in, unfortunately, for him. So, uh, our batter there will be uh, sweating under there a little bit. <laughs> and I bet he's a little bit uh, more lively when they go to ground next time. Could have brought the house down. He's so close to that. One. I tell you now uh, that Kawabata has been making readjustments all the way through the individual competitions. You watch this because he's going to come right the way through there with a huge Marotti Sianagi because he's, he's going to make the uh, reconnection and the readjustment. As soon as he gets the right moment there, finds the right line. Janashenko fancies himself on the ground. Uh, the great Abe was uh, looking for the big Sianagis, nearly catching as well, and nearly throwing several times and then got caught. It was the thing that pulled France back into the whole match. Now he's going to get this leg out. I tell you that it's not very often that that leg doesn't come out here. Knee will go down, the other foot will come up, and there it is. It's also Hikomi, and he's just going to readjust his balance there. And this is going to even it all up, I think, for the Japan team. Needs to hold for 20 seconds. Seconds tick up. And Kawabata manages the uh, Newaza people. They don't, they don't mind it if they're on top. They don't like it when somebody's on top of them. And that was his last so time, wasn't it? For the last time. Yeah. 
Right, coming up next, Celia Kankan of France. She's up against Yamaguchi Chihiro of Japan. It's Kankan in the white judogi, Yamaguchi in blue. Look at that. Talk about opposing styles. Big right arm over the back there. Just needs to oh, drop the hips a little bit, you know? Oh, she'll have to go in. I mean, just... Oh, and she does yes, it. it does score. Can Can scores. Gets the Wazari. And now in trouble here. If uh, she can Practice get us with them all so much, they're all picking up bits from them. But, you know, because they all, they're all a mixture of those great fighters, aren't they, from the French women's team. They are. They've all got a bit of something. <laughs> well, the Japanese team who had uh, no losses coming through to the final here. I've already got one. Got one, and uh, they're losing on, the other. Maybe on the receiving end of another here. Yeah. Penalty for Yamaguchi for that drop. Here comes Kan Kan again. That left elbow from Yamaguchi, but she's turned it for the Uchimata. Yeah, is that going to be? Uh, got to look at the top half, remember? Are they going to count that top half there as a connection? Uh, she just managed to get the elbow and forearm. Yeah, I personally down. think it yeah. should be more, but uh, you know, but. They have been given it sometimes. That's a difficult, difficult one to call because she can't see if the gi is no. out at the back. The referee was just telling her to do the gi at the back, but I not notice that. So a bit of a scare for Can Can on that last exchange. Look how she uh, controls that sleeve, Yamaguchi now. So she's been told to control that right hand of Can Can, because when the right hand comes across, that's when she's dangerous. So uh, I think that Yamaguchi will be trying to catch the sleeve every single time. It wasn't far off, was it, that Osoto? Osoto Gary. Just a single, well, fill in the medical. Yes, that's the itching. Well, having a dust. Yamaguchi returns to the mat. All right, away we go. Can she catch the sleeve, Yamaguchi? And uh, you see that uh, now Can Can keeps the arm back and throws it short but fast and hard over the top. Good grip here from Can Can. See that bent left elbow just pushing into the hip. So awkward, isn't she? Uh, it's so one sided, so awkward, so typical of the French style. I mean, it's no good saying it's not typical of their style. Sometimes when they stand absolutely side on, and you think, well, how can I get a proper attack in? How could she possibly attack with Uchimata? This is. Well, that was a long time, wasn't it? That was unfortunate for Can Can that she went to the ground there, but I'm not going to class that as an attack from Yamaguchi. And Yamaguchi is playing into the hands of Can Can here by having this, this awkward defensive position because she's not attacking. No, she's so already picked up one sheet, she doesn't need a second. Two penalties, and it would be, or one for each, and yeah, yeah. she'd have two. Agbeg Nanu is, uh, is one, isn't she, that does exactly this. I mean, she just fights completely one-sided, very all seconds left to go. Can Can having to deal with Yamaguchi onslaught now. Ah, oh, she's gone That's over it. again. That's it. Was Ali was upon. And that puts France ahead. Celia can can. She can. 
<laughs> sorry. She can. Sorry. Sorry. Very good. I promise I won't. Uh, That's it. Go you're not going to do it. Nozumu. It'll be ball down in the white to the Dimiki in blue. And I'll tell you what, ball down really does have a mountain to climb here because Mickey has been on absolutely spanking form. Again, right arm over the back. And uh, look at that, doesn't like it. Completely one-sided. Doesn't have to be pretty to, to, to get the job done. No, it's the unorthodox. Yeah, it? it is, yeah. Well, and that's why I was saying to you that they've been readjusting all the way through it. You know, they've been fighting the Uzbeks, the Kazakhs, the um, uh, Tajiki uh, stand fighters, the Aziris. Mongolians, well, like that, <laughs> yeah, Mongolians as well, yeah. and yeah. they haven't been out, half of them haven't been out internationally, abroad, and so they're going to come and go, what, what is going on with this style, you know, the with these different of oh, oh, fire. Yes. The, the cheering his name. How, how does that happen? <laughs> uh, either there's a lot of French supporters up there or they're just uh, they're Some, mad for it. Something for them to do. Mad for it. Penalty picked up by Mickey. Yes, and this is prime example, isn't it? Uh, board in here is not one you put your money on and uh, performing way above his uh, pay grade here to... Um, really take the fight to Mickey. If he wins this, now Borden, he'll put France 3-1 up. Yes, the French in need of another win from somewhere. Two up already. Yes, and I think it's when you get a win that you didn't expect, which uh, often happens, doesn't it? And somebody excels. Well, it, it's as we said at the beginning, the, the women, the French women, that they need to find a man who can pull out one of the one of the wins. <laughs> They've had two of their big guns. Can can and uh, oh, he's not far off. Ooh, that was so close. Ooh. Oh dear, <laughs> and then the Makikomi one after another, and you know, I mean, if. If you just saw these two as two fighters here, you'd say, well, Borden definitely is the one that's been the most dangerous. Without knowing the history, I mean. And that was a little bit of a panic attack there by Mickey, thinking, what have I got to do? He was unseeded in the individuals and ended up in the silver medal position, losing out to Sodikov in the final. That was in the under 100 kilo category. Maxons ball down made it to round three, losing out to the Romanian Rares Arseni. Now got a position here. 
Needs to use it now. He's just got the grip that he wants here, Mickey. Yes. And uh, scoops him through there for a Koichi Gak. Right on the end of regulation time. ball down he picked up a penalty right at the end there so we're into a period of golden score ball down as well has done well to take mickey this far and oh, almost caught just couldn't well, turn yeah i mean it was mickey that started it yes. off oh so to gary and almost Wanted to come back up for the Kosoto and then nearly gets caught with the Makikomi. Breathing heavily now, Bordan. Yeah, can he hold it off now? Ah, oh, changes to the other side this time. And I think this is where it's going to tell uh, Sheldon because, like you said, Borden, just um, a little bit worse for wear out there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Oja. And now Sianagi. And another one of those. And it will be another Shido. Chest is heaving now. Trying to take in as much air as possible. Yeah, taking a, a bit of time doing that belt as well. <laughs> anyway, we're back underway. It should be a Shido, I think. I, I think there's... Yeah. And, you know, he could have saved himself that yeah. if he'd have dived on top. I know. Kept working Well, I and think, I think he was nearly ready to give it, actually, uh, before they went down. Yeah. And, uh, I think he was kind of ready, and he just needed one more. That wasn't a good attack, was it? Not a good at all. But this is when you really begin to lose your shape. You're so tired. And when, when I say you lose your shape, things that you had previously done and you thought about, you, you completely forget. It go, all of it goes out the window. I'm not so sure that that was a landing. You know, he got the Wazari for that in golden score. Landing on what? Well, uh, landing on his side. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I don't think he landed I, on I his side. I don't think he did. Uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to question no, you. They I'm, I'm saying, what did he land on? Yeah, no, no, exactly. Oh, did, uh, that didn't seem like side to me, did it, you? Yeah, sorry. That was uh, definitely more front. I don't think they'll count that. I think this will carry on. See, we get to see the front view, um, and oddly enough, uh, we, we've been seeing the view that the referee sees most of the time. That time, we, we saw the other view. Yeah. So it's possible that if we see the one that he, that, that Vladimir Nutsubidze saw, we think, oh, that, that's the score, but not from the view that we had. Yeah. And he didn't have that. He didn't. No, he no, definitely didn't. He didn't. And that's a third Chido, and he was uh, quite a few attacks behind, I have to yeah. say, and the Japanese Mickey. Uh, two to two. The Cavallo could really be the heroine here. Yeah. I mean, because 
It's a huge ask to go back to Peter Jean again. He's pulled them out the fire once before, but to ask him to go up against Kihara Kato and do it again. Yes, it's a big ask, yeah. isn't it? That would be a much, much better contest at 3-2 France than 3-2 Japan. The ask is different. If you, if you see what I mean. Yeah, no, absolutely. If, if France are leading 3-2, then Peter Jean could win it. <laughs> far off, was it, to, to Cavallo there with that Sumigesh. Just looks that little bit heavier and uh, stronger, doesn't she? And yet they were both the 57. And it is Honda, who's the current junior world champion. So I think Honda's just got to speed up a little bit with her attacks. Well, as always, the French making this a, 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 a real match. I mean, it is full on. And you know, on paper, how often do we see team competitions on paper? You go, oh, this team's going to win it, and then it, it doesn't always come off like that, especially in judo. Is there a fairy tale ending for France? 2-2 Two -two at the moment in the match, no score in the contest. I say. A fairy tale ending, but they're the number one seeds, aren't they? Uh, well, they were, and, and the reason, although they lost last year to Japan in the final, but uh, all of these fighters that are out here are new, except for one or two. Uh, that they're, they're all brand new. Some of them haven't even got an international record, so they weren't seeded. So I can only think that they seeded this from the individual medalists. We did say that we were going to find that out. Matthias Fischer, yeah. Wow, got a go. Good attack. Wasn't quite underneath and uh, between the legs there, but Di Cavallo was quick with the rotation. Incredible. Well, you'd think that uh, we were in France. Yeah. Almost. I don't think that's a bad idea. It's slightly unorthodox. Um, well, techniques. switch of direction. Yeah. Go off to the uh, other flank. I, I like that. Something a bit different. Because it's definitely not something that uh, Honda would be used to. You know, on the international circuit, the higher ranked Japanese, more experienced Japanese women will have seen that because they will come up against it more often. But definitely juniors and most certainly not cadets. That's that's not their style in Japan. At all, is it? Yeah. No. So that Takato's done one or two, haven't they? Yeah. As, as you a, know what I mean? On, on the, the senior level, circle, yeah. yeah. And you're not going to catch someone like Tsunoda Natsumi with something like that. She's seen, she's seen all of those now. Oh, well, this isn't dead set, is it? 17 seconds to go here. Honda needs to get on her bike a bit and she needs to... Can you imagine if Tajikistan had been in the final? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. 
Now then, can she get the climb over here for the Osai Komi? No, she can't. Well, we're going to have golden score, and I'll tell you what, the crowd are perfectly happy with it. Keep it coming, they say. Within a year, Tajikistan and Dushanbe moved from being a non non event. Oh, oh she got, got it. Caught. She got it. Oh, what a time to come up with that. And uh, that Ashiguruma there, she drove it over to the side and uh, beautifully taken there. And Honda, absolutely. Got on her bike, didn't she? Careful. <laughs> unenviable task of rescuing it again against the current junior world champion no less yes i'd say he's probably got the biggest mountain to climb hasn't he We have, tall order. Yeah, well, I was going to say, we have kind of mentioned, haven't we, the Abbey situation before, but um, it was in the Olympics. And it uh, happens to be the same weight category that we're in here. Both athletes picked up penalties there. A really daunting task. Kihara, a few years ago, when we, the very first time that we saw him was at the World, the Cadet World Championships in Sarajevo. He won there. one couple of days ago yes to win the cadets and then the juniors that's a great transition isn't it that's perfect transition looking for the uchimata he's waiting for that uchimata he'll want to hook it in but what he won't want to do is take the massive chance of the sakeshi so for, for france win and put yourself in with a chance with the random golden score contest. For Japan, take this and you take the gold medal. It's as simple an equation as that. Yes, and the thing is, is that if it does go into the random draw, it could be any one of them to come, uh, have to come out and do it again. Well, I'm sure the French would be looking at uh, Archer Corn and... Yeah, they'll want um, one of those, can, won't they? Can. Yeah, yes, yeah. for sure. Mountain to climb, but... It doesn't look unclimbable. Kind of waiting for a mistake, uh, Jean. And it will be a mistake rather than a massive attack with the Uchimata right against left. Don't touch the leg there then. Two Shidos each, one mistake. By either of them. This for the Junior World title. Team match. And 
Kiara, this is the first time I've seen him fight where he doesn't want to lose it. Slightly different than going all out there to win it. But uh, is he going to take a chance on it? He doesn't want to make a mistake. And that's the first time he's gone on the inside there. Oh, cheap. I think they'll let it just carry on just that little bit longer. They want something conclusive here. Rather than just a third Shido, that's another attack by Kihara. And uh, Jean definitely now on his last chance. This is the last chance. Taking the long way round, John. We saw it go into golden score in the Olympic Games. The great Abe Ifumi was trying to score it on, and in the end, had it turned on him, and it turned the whole team competition on its head. And Jean do the same here. This place will erupt if he does it. Neither one of them can afford to just back off. Got a turn here. Oh, he wasn't far off. Now, did it go against the uh, arm purposely? Um, is it a throw against the arm? Obviously, he's holding the arm there. They'll have a look. It didn't look like it. No, I, I didn't I, think I, so. I didn't think so. Yeah. I mean, it, it ended up, didn't yeah, it, because it, of the travel yes, yeah. uh, underneath, but it certainly didn't look as if he went against it no, from the off. Agreed. There's something that didn't look right um, about it for a penalty, if you see what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> We are up a little. Good change of direction there from Kiara. Can't find the way in, Kenny Kiara. And I'd say that the Uchi Mat is definitely not one thing that he wants to do. Kiara. Oh, Uchi would probably be better. John's got to stand up here. He's got to know what the state of the contest is. Well, he tried for the Maybe, yeah. Maybe just, just about gave himself another few seconds. Those two are, are, are just begging for, for it to be them. Yeah, for John to to win because they would want a chance. And I'll tell you what, you put your money on either one of them now. That's why I say it. Uh, it would turn this on its head, wouldn't it? A win over Kiara. Well, we can't say they haven't given us good entertainment. Both teams. It's been a good. And it's an excellent match. final block. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. E even the 4 0 drub drubbing, it didn't matter. It was still entertainment. Golden score we've had already. Oh, almost with the Ashley was a. No, it wasn't far off, that was, was it? That was close. Nearly caught him there. Oh, well, oh, he, he, he absolutely just, just manages there. to uh, turn onto his front there, didn't he? That was so, so close. Well, we've seen this, haven't we, before? <laughs> Deep into Golden score. <laughs> and. Uh,
Yes, wow. and, and, and as I was saying, Sean has to know what the state of the contest is. Kiara doesn't, it doesn't matter to him. He, he, he can give this one um, if they both get penalties. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Because no. they're ahead. It, it really is down to Peter, to Peter Jean. It's a lot to ask for, and that's the thing that, that he has exactly what you've been talking about. It's, it, both of them have been looking for that yeah. Sakeshi, both of them, actually. And the right against left always leads to it, and they can both feel the danger with it. They both feel it out there. And, and that's why Kiara didn't give it the full-blooded Uchimata, and that's why he, he fell away. He feels that danger, as Neil is, is, is saying, and so does Jean. Really have to grip and go here. Oh, it's not far off now, is it? It, it really isn't, because it, it's Kiara that is absolutely first into the attack every time. This is it, last time. I think one more good attack like that, yeah. and this will be all over. And you, you've given John enough chances. Yeah, no, he has. Time. Four minutes in the middle of golden score. So no one could say that they just gave it away. There's the Uchimata. First time he's been able to get in, and he goes again. And he's going to go again and again. Kiara said, what about that? Was that a good attack? Well, it, it'll only end if they gave him an, a, a force attack. Yeah. Because as long as you don't give the force attack, then you have to say it was an attack you can't give passivity. <laughs> Surely, Jean can't come and take it now. Well, we've seen crazier things, haven't we? And. Oh, what a change of direction. Now, what a time. Fancies the what a time to change the direction uh, for Kihara. Well, I don't know how many times we saw him do that. Not very many, no, I can tell you. First time I've seen him attack with that. Change the flank. Wow, talk about entertainment. What a match. Almost up to five minutes. What a contest score. this is. Well, this crowd certainly got their money's worth, I tell you. Oh, and not far off. And he's, he's rescued it again. He keeps going, doesn't he? Right, so now he knows he's got to go again. But look at the condition of that man there. I mean, you know, they are doing so many randers, so much judo. They're just used to coming forwards all the time, being out there in the middle with that red belt on, with uh, partner after partner coming out there. Look at that. Uchimata, Ochi, and the Kataguruma as well. This time... It it's got to be, hasn't it, yeah. surely, because Kiara is one technique after another, and this is going to be it. Could stop it now. That's it. It's all done. That was a great, great effort from Kiara. Wow. And a rare outburst of emotion. Yes. And the crowd, actually, for the first time, don't like it because they wanted to just stay and watch more judo. I thought that that was the right decision. So I, I really did. So uh, it could have happened a little bit before that. Um, but, you know, I thought they gave them every chance because it was so entertaining. Such a great team match.